What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and it's been a while since I've done a video about HDMI, but with the recent release of the Xbox Series X and PS5, which both have HDMI 2.1, I figured now is a good time to talk about some of the changes that have happened over the past few months. So today we're gonna talk about HDMI 2.1. Today's video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. So if you're like me, you've probably been walking around with a regular folding wallet taking up a bunch of space in your back pocket. Well, I just recently switched over to the Ridge Wallet and it's completely changed my wallet game. It's a sleek, lightweight, and industrial modern wallet. And on top of me being able to fit it in my front pocket, it looks awesome and even has RFID blocking technology, making it more secure than a regular wallet. It can hold up to 12 cards, some cash if you're still into that. It does doesn't fold, it doesn't bend, and it's super durable. So durable that it comes with a lifetime warranty, which means you could potentially carry just one wallet for life. Ridge offers over 30 different colors and styles, including forged carbon, titanium, and carbon fiber. So I've been rocking with the forged carbon style for a while, and it has a nice and subtle finish that looks pretty cool. And if you want to grab one of these today, you can get 10% off your purchase with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash Majestex and use the code just text during checkout to get your discount. You can also find a link in the video description. So earlier this year, I made a video about HDMI cables and I briefly mentioned HDMI 2.1, but at the time there weren't really any HDMI 2.1 devices. Well, now that we have the Xbox Series X and PS5, it's a good time to explain the benefits of HDMI 2.1 and how you can take advantage of it. So here's a list of some of the new features of HDMI 2.1. Now I'm not gonna go over all of these, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the notable features. So first and foremost, HDMI 2.1 supports 8K resolution at 60 frames per second and 4K at 120 frames per second, which is great for gaming. And if you're not familiar with FPS or frames per second, I purposely shot this video at 120 frames per second so you can clearly see the difference that a high frame rate makes. So the higher frame rate makes the video more smooth and realistic. Now this isn't always ideal for watching movies or video, but it makes a huge difference when gaming. So now on to the next feature, which is VRR or variable refresh rate, which is a game changer when it comes to gaming. So VRR can automatically adjust your TV's frame rate to match the frame rate coming from your console or your computer, which greatly reduces judder, lag, and frame tearing. So this means you get much smoother video, which is key for gaming. Okay, so what does this mean for the new Xbox Series X and PS5? Well, as I said earlier, both of these systems have HDMI 2.1 and both of them allow you to play certain games at 4K at 120 frames per second and even 8K, but there are some things you should know about this. The first thing is that not all TVs have HDMI 2.1, which means that unless you just recently bought a high-end 4K TV, then your TV probably has HDMI 2.0. So HDMI 2.0 doesn't support 4K at 120 frames per second, but it does support 4K at 60 frames per second. So this means you may need to upgrade to get the higher frame rate. Okay, so what TVs do have HDMI 2.1? Well, as I mentioned, this is something you're gonna find on higher end 4K TVs and pretty much all 8K TVs. So at the time of this video, some of the least expensive options include the Samsung Q70T, LG CX models, Sony X900H, and Vizio P series. Now, unfortunately, when searching for a TV right now, it's hard to determine whether it has HDMI 2.1 since most retailers don't really show this information in the specs. This means you'll likely have to check the detailed specs from the manufacturer. And there are a few sites that have compiled a list of HDMI 2.1 TVs, which is helpful. So this begs the question of whether or not it's actually worth it to upgrade your TV right now. Well, I'd say if you have a 4K TV that you're happy with right now, then I'd wait until 8K TVs become more affordable, which will likely be another year or two. And the reason I say this is because most of the games that you've been playing on your older consoles were likely 30 frames per second, so the jump to 60 frames per second will be a big improvement on your existing TV. Now, don't get me wrong, the difference going from 60 frames per second to 120 is definitely Definitely noticeable, but the TV market is kind of in a weird spot right now, so unless you're currently in the market for a TV, then I'd wait. And if you're not a gamer and you already have a 4K TV, then I'd definitely wait to upgrade since there really isn't much 8K content right now, and most of the new HDMI 2.1 features are more beneficial for gaming. 
All right, so what about computer monitors? Well, believe it or not, at the time of this video, there are currently no monitors that support HDMI 2.1. Now, there are some new monitors in production that claim that they have it, but they haven't been released yet. And there are also no HDMI 2.1 projectors available just yet, even though LG just announced the HU810PW, which is a 4K dual laser home theater projector that will have HDMI 2.1, which will be pretty interesting. All right, so we talked about TVs, but what about HDMI cables? So as I said earlier, I did a video about this earlier this year, but at that time there were no certified HDMI 2.1 cables. Part of the reason is because in order to support 4K at 120 frames per second, you need a cable that can support up to 48 gigabits per second, which is pretty insane. The other reason is because the certification just simply didn't exist yet. So these new cables are known as ultra high speed HDMI cables, and even though the certification does exist now, it's still pretty hard to find a certified ultra high speed cable. Thankfully, the PS5 and Xbox Series X both come with one. But what if you've damaged or lost your original cable? Well, first, if you're using your Xbox or PS5 on a non HDMI 2.1 TV, then you can still use an older high speed HDMI cable since they can still carry up to 18 gigabits per second, which is more than enough for HDMI 2.0. The only time that you absolutely need ultra high speed cables is for 8K or 4K at 120 frames per second. Now, if you do need to buy an ultra high speed cable, they do exist, but it's kind of like the wild, wild west when it comes to quality, especially on Amazon. So what you're looking for are the words ultra high speed, and you wanna make sure that it can support up to 48 Gbps or gigabits per second. And if you're looking on Amazon, and I would suggest using the search feature in the review so you can type in things like 8K or or 4K at 120 frames per second to see if other people are having issues with it. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. As always, if you did, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.